The Rocket League community is wonderful. This past weekend, I wanted to get the Rocket League logo created on the massive online canvas on Reddit known as r slash place. For those who don't know, r slash place is a collaborative social experiment that was launched for a limited time on April Fool's Day back in 2017, where you were able to colour a single pixel on a massive blank canvas every five minutes which theoretically means you'd be able to create a piece of art on said canvas. However, there are also millions of other people, also on Reddit, who are able to colour the same pixel as you, so in order to get a piece of art completed, you really ideally need a community of people to all band together and do it. And five years ago, when r slash place was first implemented, it lasted 72 hours, and we were able to get a Rocket League logo on there and held it until the canvas was completed at the end. So then, fast forward five years later, they relaunched r slash place and it was more popular than ever before. Somebody posted an image of what the canvas looked like after 8 hours in 2017 versus what it looked like after the first 8 hours in 2022 and the difference is just staggering. So over on the Rocket League subreddit, there were quite a few attempts from random groups in the community to try and get something Rocket League related added to the canvas, but they weren't really well coordinated and they were trying it in, all in different places and within a few hours the whole canvas had been completely filled and there wasn't really any space to put anything without destroying some really nice already established artwork that would probably be quite difficult to take down. So it got to the point where the admins decided to expand the canvas to double its size and that's where I come in. As one of the moderators on the official Rocket League subreddit, there was an opportunity to band everyone together to work towards the goal of creating the Rocket League logo. And so I put the plan in motion and created a post that I sticky to the front page of the subreddit and that explained where we were going to attempt it and how we were going to do it. Coordinating the logo was proving to be a bit of a difficult task, particularly as we wanted to use the new Rocket League logo with a spoiler on the car rather than the previous one we used, which was the old one without the spoiler. However, we decided just to use the same old logo template that we used previously and then we could add the spoiler after and everybody just quickly got to work trying to create the logo and the first attempt went somewhat okay. We were able to create a logo. It wasn't quite the Rocket League logo, but it was kind of close and you could kind of tell what we were aiming for, but having everyone just randomly go in and try and colour pixels resulted in a kind of distorted and messy logo which wasn't quite what we wanted. And then we encountered the void. Basically, a whole bunch of people from the website 4chan decided to create a void that spread like the plague, infecting and consuming everything around it, including our beloved out of shape Rocket League logo. And at that point, we decided to regroup and a couple of super helpful people from the Rocket League community stepped up and these two were known by Kylo Morales and Weston Hawk. And they provided some really useful tools to help us make an even better logo in a new location. These two really deserve the bulk of the credit for what we built and I really cannot stress that enough. Weston Hawk provided a brilliant pixel art logo template that we could follow to ensure that we were making the next edition much better than the previous edition and we would follow the actual shape of the logo for a change and Kylo Morales found an absolutely excellent browser extension that you could use to create an overlay on the canvas that would show you what the colours needed to be to make your specific artwork. And so they uploaded Western Hawk's template to that and we got ourselves a good overlay that we could follow. This was an absolute mega help in the coordination and the pair took on a whole bunch of the coordinating from me anyway and we had to move location a few times as we were struggling to take on some of the other people who were building around us but eventually we settled on a location where we could colour in our pixels and try to make some Something brilliant. I think I was up until about 4am trying to battle with some people who were pushing back against us and we decided that it would be better to make the rest of the artwork done and then coordinate an attack on these places at the end to make it easier. And once I woke up in the morning just about five hours later, to my delight the logo was nearly fully complete and it already started to look like a Rocket League logo. All that was needed were a few little corrections and we would just do that throughout the day and eventually would add the Rocket League text to the logo as well. We were then able to form an alliance with some of the folk around us so that we could fend off any attacks from people trying to take over, but I don't think anything could have prepared us for what would come later on on Sunday night. Something that would be too powerful for any of us to deal with. An army of 200,000 people commanded by the streamer XQC would just go out decimating hundreds if not thousands of pieces of artwork across the board. One by one art was consumed, the hearts of the community sank as their work was just torn away from them, and some communities were able to fend off these attacks better than others, but it edged closer and closer to us, and then the dreaded words came. Game. Chat. Um... Guys, if we have enough numbers, boys, we have enough soldiers, consume Rocket League. 
I'll look in the chat where we're at. Guys, consume! Consume this! This is guys get it. Our entire Rocket League logo was consumed in a matter of seconds and the community was devastated. Outpourings of dejection, anger, and just outright misery were expressed in the comments sections of our posts and on the Discord channels. But as I said at the start of this video, the Rocket League community is wonderful. We're used to this. We know how it feels to have your hard work taken away from you when you come up against a smurf in your promotion game. We know how it feels when you work hard just to get a teammate who's determined to throw all your matches. We are used to disappointment and we always go again and we go hard. So the team rallied together again and rebuilt the logo. And it was even better than before. The text looked better and the work that the community put in to keep this up was exactly what makes the Rocket League community just so great. This had all happened while I slept, yet in my sleep I had actually dreamt that this had happened, like that our work had been completely wiped out and then we had to rebuild it. And that kind of tells you just how much of this consumed my life over the weekend. And so on the final day, we banded together with the communities that surrounded us and just tried to protect each other from attacks. We had a few attacks from the Among Us characters that were popping up all over the canvas and the Popheads arc to the right of us was attacked by another subreddit so we helped them defend that, but the biggest loss from our area was just to our southeast where Romania expanded their flag and completely wiped out a bunch of the designs there, pushing right up to the very edge of our Rocket League text, which had us pretty worried. And shortly after this, it was completely transformed to a Poland flag, but thankfully for us, the invasion didn't progress any further in our direction and instead went the opposite way and we were able to hold onto our area. And then just before midnight UK time, something happened as we were trying to defend our areas and we could no longer select any colors except for white. And white pixels were starting to appear everywhere, including on our logo and those surrounding us. The canvas was being wiped clean. R slash place had come to meet its end. And it took a mere five minutes for our logo to become almost completely unrecognizable. And the white just expanded and expanded until the canvas was just completely clean of all designs, which is when the admins then announced that it was the end and put a stop to all pixel placement. And that was it. Our place was over. And it was a great, great time where I really felt connected to others in the Rocket League community. It was just a fantastic showing of teamwork and just overall fun to be had. I would absolutely love to be able to do something like this again because it was just brilliant to see so many people come together and share something that was kind of beautiful. And I do want to take a moment as well to thank everybody who participated in the artwork with a particularly special shout out to the aforementioned Kylo Morales and Weston Hawk for their efforts in coordinating the community as a whole. And as well as my fellow mod Lucy21 who took over the day two organizing on the subreddit and created a new post for us and with a lot more updated information. And also Noxu from the official discord for creating a couple of channels in there for us uh, that allowed us to have instructions as well as discussion on the artwork. So next time, r slash place opens up again let's make it twice as big but that would just about do it for this one thank you very much for watching and until next time 